You will be good. All right, now, here we go. I ask you, uh, did I give you the answer to number six? No. All right, so the fraction ended up being four ninths. Anybody have any issues with that? What? Um, I have a question. And so when you cross multiply, how do you know, like, it's, so it's 2D plus 3 and plus 2. How do you know, like, 2D is first? Well, you can put 3 in plus 2 first. If that's what you're asking me, it doesn't matter which one's first. They're equal to each other. It doesn't matter which one is first. What? Anybody else? Number six, four ninths. Should be able to solve that relatively easy. Setting up the equation is the hard part. All right, let's look at number seven. Like I said, that should have been pretty easy. The two numbers were 21 and 15. Any issues? What? Um, how did you get 21 and 15? Did you look at the work? Is that good, William, or not? Oh, I said it was good, yeah, too. All right, that's what I want to hear. All right, anybody else? Number eight. The two numbers were 41 and 32. Nobody has having an issue with that. What? Any questions with number eight? Number nine. Eighty seven boys, seventy one girls. Any questions or concerns? Nobody? 10, biking at 20 miles per hour and walking at eight miles per hour. Any issues with number 10? Good. It's actually a kilometers an hour. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. Thank you so much. That is actually kilometers per hour, not miles per hour. Anybody else on number 10? Anybody? Guys, uh, it sounds like everything's going good. Check out 11. 18 quarters and 20 dimes. Yeah, I can hold it. I appreciate you checking your work, finding your mistake, not writing it down. Finding your mistake, that's what you're supposed to be doing. What? So before you even start doing the addition, you do the multiplication. Like the yeah, I had to multiply two times 0.25 if that's what you're asking me. Yeah. yeah. Agreed? Yeah. Okay, now I'm
Okay, guys, we're going into our third day now. Should be better. All right, hopefully solving is not the problem. Setting it up is the problem. Any issues? Any issues? Going once. What? Okay, I have one. I'm confused on uh, where you have 38, where you got 38. I okay. There are 38 quarters and dimes. Okay. Oh, I thought that was. Yeah, I read the problem. I know. I know, I just, I read it. I know. Anybody else? All right, happy days, guys. That was good. All right, now we're gonna do kind of the same thing today. All right, now the only thing is, guys, I, I, I'm okay with question number 12, but I, I don't really like it. So hit omit on that, all right? You don't have to do number 12. All right, let's get started with 13. Emiliano, thank you. You're on 13. Tell me the equations right now, go. So you just said x, y equals 51. What? That's what you just said, x, y equals 51. Oh, x plus y. Thank you. X plus y equals 51, what else? Um, Come on kiddo, what does difference mean? No, difference does not mean divided by. Now, here's your chance to learn. Go back. Let's scroll back. Let's scroll back. Let's scroll back. Hmm. Number seven. You see your note on seven? So now I'm scrolling back to the original problem. So now what is it? Yes, ma'am. X minus Y equals 13. C number, what number was that that we refer back to? Seven. Seven. This is how you're doing it, guys. Yes. Wouldn't you have to make one of the numbers smaller and one of them larger? Well, that, that is actually true, but really it doesn't matter, right? The doing the math, listen, doing the math, that's a very good question, will automatically make the larger number obvious and the smaller number. You with me on this, right? If you wanna put X is large and Y is small, that's perfectly fine, but I promise you it won't matter. All right, so everybody can do number 13 now. All right, Max, let's hear it. We've done this one two times, so I'm ready for you, go. So what equation is that? Yes. I think it was number one and number, somebody help him. 11. Yeah. Number one and number 11. Uh, you have the, um, the coin. And then... No, now scroll back to 14 and tell me how to do it. Or look up on the board, whatever you want to do. Come on, Max, I need you in the game. There are 27 nickels and dimes. Yeah. What are we talking about? How many of them? So what letters do you want to use? Ten. Yeah, how many are there? 23. So what equation? 27. Look back at number one. Come on, Max, I'm not giving you a hard time. I'm trying to teach you to think. You can do this. What equation is it? And everyone else, write it down and then write the second equation. And if you're really smart, just write the equation and then go to 15. While we're waiting on max. So, so it's like I want to know N and D are the letters. 
What do I do with N and D? I don't know. Well, look at question number one. Read question number one to me. I'm, I'm not, I'm waiting. What does it say for number one? No, no, I want you to read it. It's the same question. Did you write number one down? Okay, so what is your, what is your uh, equation on number one? Okay, okay. D plus Q equals 77. Yeah. That was dimes and quarters are total 77 coins. Okay. So now what are we gonna write? Uh, M plus Q equals 95. No, that's the dollars though. So there are 27 coins. So nickels plus dimes equal 27 coins. I'm telling you, you can do that, but you're not doing it. You're choosing not to do any work. And you're gonna get a zero on your test. And there's nothing I can do about it. I'm begging you to work and you're not. And everyone in here is gonna get called on. Be ready. Now, come on, Max. There are 27 coins. How do you not know N plus D equals 27? Now, what's a nickel worth, Max? Five. How do I write five cents? Five and then no, how do I write five cents? How do I write a quarter? Five. So five cents is 0. 0.5? Yeah. No, it's not. Shh, don't tell him. I don't mind people squirming. What is five cents? How do I write five cents? Zero. Yeah, say it again. Zero. Nope, that's 50. Zero. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, there's nothing to be upset about. Nothing. Get involved in the game. Now, what's a dime worth? So what do I do? 0.10D. How much money do you have? How much money is do you have? Not you personally, but the person in the word problem. Thank you. Come on, I'm not giving you a hard time. I'm trying to teach you. But if you don't learn, if you don't want to do it, I can't help you. That's the third time we've done that problem. You're smart enough. Come on, Max. You can do that. You can learn it also. Somebody tell them what to do and multiply by to solve this problem. Go, tell me. Yes, multiply the top by negative 0.1. I'm not doing that. Negative 0.1. Okay, that was painful, Max. Come on, buddy. You got to get in the game. You got to try. We're on 15, and I'm talking about coins. All right, number 15. Probably a little unique here. All right, we haven't done one exactly like this. So let's see what we can do. The side of a square house is 24 feet long. So probably what am I going to draw? Square. A square. That would be the first thing. I'm going to draw a square. And it says, it's 24 feet long. So I'm gonna put a 24, 24, 24, and 24. And the house is located on a lot, which is 50 feet longer than it is wide. So I'm gonna put it on a lot. Does everybody know this, right? That's your lot. Your house is sitting on your lot. Do I know how wide it is? No. So I'm going to give that what? What letter? Well, let's call W what? Wide, right? 
So I'm gonna call this W. And then the length is what? The length is what? W plus 50. How do I know that? Yeah, because we read the problem. That's not a mystery. We read the problem. That's how we know that. All right, you got to read the problem. You got to do some interpretation. Remember, I can show you the math. I can't translate the math for you. That's what we're struggling with. And does everyone struggle with that? Yes, everyone does. All right, if you do the problems every day, you'll be fine by the end of the week. If you're not struggling every day, it's going to be impossible in the test, and I mean that. All right? So come on, join the club. It's a lot of fun. Now, what does it say here? The perimeter of the lot. So how do I write the perimeter? The perimeter, what did I tell you the perimeter was? A formula. That's what I told you I want you to write it. Two times L plus W. What? Oh, I was just on it. Okay. So the perimeter of the lot is 20 feet more than five times the perimeter of the house. What are they talking about, Rivers? Um, so the perimeter of the house, that equation is with 96. But then whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down. Perimeter of the house is 96. Yeah. Hold on a second, I'm gonna put perimeter and down here I'm gonna put a subscript house. That's how we write. Perimeter of the house is 96 feet. Yeah. Do you agree with that? Does anybody have any trouble knowing what perimeter means? Everybody's good with perimeter? All right. Say it again. Now what? Times it by five. Why? Because we get the perimeter of the lot 20 feet more than five times the perimeter of the house. Right. So, that that equals 480. so now you say the perimeter of the lot is equal to how much? Um, 480 plus 20. I'm asking. 500. How's that? How'd you do that again? Explain it. Um, so you get the perimeter of the house to 96, and then you have to get 20 more than five times 96. That's exactly right, guys. Come on now, you can do that. I made it a little bit different. All right, all the problems are gonna be exactly the same where you can just go memorize things. All right? Okay, I'm happy with you. That's a good job. So now this equation right here represents what? The perimeter of the lot, do you agree? Yeah. So what does P stand for? Yes, and what is the perimeter of the lot? 100. So now I can replace, sorry, 500 is equal to two parentheses L plus W. Yes, that's what we're going to get to next. Yes, that's how you know it. Oh, good for you. Thank you. Go. Did you take your calculator out and do five times 96 plus 20? Now, listen to me. Now, notice what I'm telling her. I'm telling her how to do the problem, but in reality, I'm trying to show her, look, that's from the wording, right? It's five times the perimeter of the house plus 20. We don't know what the perimeter of the house is until we did what? We did 24 times four. Is everybody okay with that? You understand me now? Because I appreciate you've asked a couple questions recently, all right, which means you're wanting to get a little better. And if everybody would want to get a little better, you don't have to sit here and not say anything. All right? So now that explanation, now, Right off the bat, when I see something like this, what do I do? Do I distribute the two? No. To me, it would be easier if I just did what? 
I just divide by two to make the equation easier. So now that equation is what? 250 equals what? L plus W. Now, what do I have over here? I have an original equation and I, thank you. Wow, that now is gonna be matched up with that equation. And like a true mathematician, you just say that's a simple what? What did you just say a second ago? That's a simple substitution. Do that problem. Finish it up. Highlight 15 and finish. Highlight 14 and finish. All right, let's move on. Okay. Miss Cussell, I haven't heard you in a month. All right, let's speak up. You get number 16. You're welcome. Go. Okay, I like what you're saying, but can we say, since we're talking specifically, I don't have a problem writing A, right? You, hear, you with me? Yeah. So you did 5X, but I want you to do 5 what? A. Because that stands for adults. And then how much for children? Two. Right. Now, what am I going to do with 5A and 2C? Um, yes, but what do I do with 5A and 2C? So let me ask you this question. You ready? Let's say 10 adults come and two children come. How much money did you make? What would I do? You make 54. So how did you do that? Five times 10 and two times two. And then? Add. Wow, that's how you figure that out, kiddo. You see that now? Yeah. All right, now I need another equation. So that did the money. So that was nice. Now what? We already used that number. Um, 1,820 divided by 5A2C. So, how many people went to the museum? Oh, 1,820. Right. Who went to the museum? And they totaled what? No, that's the cost. How many came? So how do I know who came? Add who? Now look, I, I'm, I'm not trying to give anybody a hard time, but that, that, I don't know how to teach it any better than that. I don't know what some of you are doing. Do you, some, do, you, do you understand the words have just changed, right? The words, that's it. Or we've done example problems like this. This is like a coin problem. There are 1,820 coins. You have a $5 coin and a $2 coin. Does everybody understand that's all there is? That's what it is right there, right? Angelina, does that make perfectly good sense now? Yeah. Right? There is adults and children's going to the museum. 820 people went to the museum. The adults paid $5 and the kids paid $2. That's how much money I made. That's it. That's all. Come on now. All right, same thing. Everyone get in the game. If you didn't try to set that up on your own and struggle like Angelina did, you made a mistake. 
And if you just wrote that because it was obvious, then you're in great shape. Come on now, you're supposed to struggle a little bit. All right? Now, again, all right, that's your job. Homework, knock that out. Does anybody want to tell me what I can do to solve that quickly? Tell me. Uh, what? Negative two on bottom. Multiply the bottom by negative two. Beautiful. Okay, number 17. Yes, ma'am, go. I appreciate you. Well, what does 15 represent? Okay, so you have, and what does the eight represent? So how many choices do we have? A what and a what? And how many questions are there? Well, read the first sentence, please. So, right. So what types of questions are you going to have? No, 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 no. Don't slap your head like that. Come on, girl, you're learning. That's what I don't want you to do. Don't give up. Tell me again. Read it to me. Because you said everything correctly. Read the first sentence real quick. Okay, now stop there for a second. This is like the previous problem, if you can put it in that context where there were two types of people going to the museum. There are two types of questions here. What are the two types of questions? There you go. So how do you want to label them? No, I didn't ask you that. How do you want to label the questions with what letter? Oh, B and, or y and F. Well, I might as well just go ahead and call them what? C and C and I. There are two types of questions on the test, right? You're going to get them correct, and you're going to get them what? Incorrect. Don't think about the points yet. I'm asking you specifically about the questions. Tell me again what the equation would be. B plus I equals 15. Yay. That's what I want. Come on, people. It's worth the struggle. I promise you it's worth the struggle. Nothing to be embarrassed about. Nothing. Everyone in here is having trouble. Right? You're not going to get better unless you try. All right, I appreciate that. So far, correct plus incorrect equal 50. All right, now you got a tricky one. So now what? Right, exactly. So what do you get for a correct answer? So what would I do with the correct answers? Oh, don't say anything. What do I do with the correct answers? If I got 10 questions correct, what would my score be? How did you get that? Yes. Well, what by 10? Yes. So if I have C correct answers, how many points do I get? You just told me. How many points do I get for, for a correct answer? Right. So if I have, there you have it. Good, thank you very much. So I get 15 points for every correct answer. Now what? Yay, wow. Equals. It's so worth the struggle. I'm telling some of you, it's so worth it when you finally get it. It's you, you got to try. If you're just writing down my answers, it's not helping. 
You should have what you think written down first. Congratulations. That's not that bad. It's really not. And I'm trying to show you it's just like the coin problem. It's just like the museum problem. Except this time we put a negative in there to throw you off. All right. Now, to solve that, what do I do? Times by what? No. no, no eight. Multiply by eight on the top. Highlight it. Solve it. Okay. Uh oh, wait a minute. Two dollars. What is the asterisk on the keypad? Does anybody know? The asterisk is an eight. So my mad typing skills. So I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be an eight. See where it says asterisk there? I think that's what it is. All right, anybody else want to be brave? No one brave. Oh. You're not brave, you're soft. I know, but I can't no, someone be brave. Really All right, Jensen. Really I know, you're soft. This will help toughen you up. Go. Um, so yeah, so we're probably going to use what letters here? Wow, all right, you're off to a good start. A and B. Come on now, don't be. Speak up so we can hear you. Next. Wow, thank you so much. Feels good. Feels very good. All right, that's it, guys. Come on now. You should be getting the hang of it now. I don't think that was too bad. Anybody have any issue with that? What's the problem? What do I multiply by? Bottom by what? The bottom by negative two would be good. All right, highlight 18. Divide the top by negative two. You would be considered a genius then. All right. Uh-oh, uh-oh, 19. Oh, the dreaded current problems. No rivers. All right, Farman. What two things that we have? Um, both we travel against the current, or um, when it both going with the current. Right. So we have what two letters? Um, A and B. Well, A doesn't stand for boat. Oh, wait. What letter would I use for the boat? B. And what would I use for the current? C. Brilliant. So don't be jealous because I can draw and you can't. All right, but here is my explanation. The current is going this direction. Do I know how fast the current is going? No. That would be C. Now, my little motor boat down here is in the water. And if I go that direction, I'm actually going to travel no, I'm going to travel the boat speed plus the current. So the boat plus the current can do what? 30 kilometers per hour. Now, if I take my boat and I turn it around and now I'm going against the current, how fast will I be going? B minus C and that will be what? 16. Now think about this, that's what I'm trying to say. Remember, everybody's been in the escalator, right? You go up the escalator, it looks like you're going, oh my gosh, so fast, right? 
And then you see, always see those little kids, little clowns are on the bottom of the escalator trying to walk up as it's going down, right? And they think it's hilarious because they're walking, but they're going what? Nowhere. Nowhere. All right, that's the exact same thing. Or at the airport, exactly. They get on those little, you know, walk alongs and you look like you're going super fast, that's such bad. right? Because the speed plus your speed is makes you go faster. That's all this is saying, that's it. The boat plus the current is going faster than the boat minus the current. All right, and for those of you guys who've been out, you understand that principle. That's all there is to it. That's all there is to that problem. Highlight, solve. Twenty. Okay, Smarty Pants. Same thing. No, let's let's see if Smarty Pants can get this one right. Okay, we can draw a little. Airplane. Don't try to draw an airplane. And embarrass yourself. Do not try to do that. Just right. go ahead. Leave the artwork to me. Okay. Okay. We'll do that. So, um, yeah, when you go with this, you go. Um, well, what letters are we using? We'll use J and. W. Okay. Um, so J plus W equals 1,100. And then J minus W equals 750. Yeah. Can't make it easier than that, guys. Come on. Simple as that. I like 20. All right. Okay. Now. I'm trying to think about something for a second. Okay, I'm happy with that, guys. 13 through 20. All right, 13 through 20. Now your job is to sit here and do what? Solve them out, please. And then tomorrow we'll knock out 21 through 30. All right. What? Say it again. I didn't say a test was tomorrow. I didn't say we had a test on Friday. There's no test. Say there was a test. Is there a test on this test? Yeah. Yeah, we're on an exam too. You're welcome. We all get a play. Is it is the exam like the AMC test going on? No. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's it. Can we do that? That's gonna happen. Please. No, your exam is gonna be a cumulative exam over everything that we've done. All right. You guys are not raising soft little kids in here. Oh, Corona, I can't study. Baloney. You can study. You're not soft. I don't know. This rain is. Making yeah, the rain is cold. <laughs> Poor babies can't study. It's cold outside. Bunch of softies around here. My brother was really mad when that happened. Yeah. He was like, yeah. He word for word said the school is going soft. Soft. We're not soft here. <laughs> the other departments might be soft, but you can guarantee I'm not cutting you one bit of slack. Guaranteed. All right, my homeschool peeps, finish up through 20. All right? Okay. No whining. Get it done. Have a great rest of your day. All right, bye, Mr. Stroh. Bye, guys. Bye.